With an astounding record of 271 wins, Rod Tong Jit Muangnan has cemented his legacy as one of the greatest ever in Muay Thai. While millions cherish and dream about the glory this sport brings, Rod Tong has turned that dream into a reality. He has become the face of this great and ancient Thai sport. But you know the saying, the path to heaven runs through miles of clouded hell. The road to the top has not been an easy one. So how did the Iron Man of Muay Thai get to where he is? What were some of his biggest fights and what makes Rod Tong so darn good? Let's find out. Rod Tang's story has all the elements of a classic. Humble beginnings, extraordinary dedication, jaw-dropping performance, and the admiration of millions. You see, being born in a family of rubber farm workers, the future superstar had a very rough start. Their limited family income made every day a struggle. So at the age of only eight, Jit Mungnan decided to take things into his own hands and enter the ring to help his family. A kid of only eight, can you believe that? His prowess soon impressed all, and he was adorned with the nickname Rod Tang, the tank. But even at such a young age, he had a hunger for more. At 14, he went to Bangkok for some serious training. After three whole years of blood, sweat, and tears, Rod Tang finally hit the big leagues, leaving his mark on the most prestigious stages in the most fantastic manner. These are the fights that turned the poor young boy into an international superstar. But what makes Rod Tang so good and special? Well, for one thing, Rod Tang never backs down. His burning desire to be a legend forbids him from being afraid or complacent. With his hard work of almost two decades, he has perfected both his defense and offense. His hand is like an impenetrable armor, blocking almost all incoming strikes. Plus, his fast reflex allows him to avoid any serious impact. But what's more impressive is the speed with which he switches between defense and offense. With extremely powerful jabs and kicks, his offense is second to none. But that's not all. He knows that the fight happens in the head as much as in the ring. So he taunts and he intimidates. He has a unique ability to get inside any fighter's mind. So no wonder Rod Tang remains the one world flyweight champion in Muay Thai. But talk is cheap. Rod Tong's glory is difficult to understand without seeing him in action. So buckle up as we take an exciting journey into the most impactful fights of the Iron Man of Muay Thai. Petch Dam and Rod Tong are longtime rivals. Rod Tong came out on top in both of their previous bouts. And looking at our Iron Man, it was clear just how much he wanted to keep this winning streak. In the first round, Rod Tang scanned Petch Dam like a vulture, studying his every move getting used to the rhythm of the fight. Pechdam, on the other hand, started the fight boldly throwing power-packed jabs and kicks. But for the most part, Iron Man's defense was difficult to get through. Nearing the end of round one, Rod Tang also looked more aggressive with his bold jabs. Round two started with a lightning-fast hit to Rod Tang's face. The fighter responded with a kick to his opponent's liver. Both Nak Muay boxed and kicked with all they had but Petch Dam was finding it difficult to land the shots. At one point, Rod Tang managed to drop the baby shark to the canvas, but the fighter got up only to endure some brutal blitz attack. The electrifying round three started with a fired up Iron Man charging in like a mad dog. Amidst Rod Tang's aggression, Petch Dam just could not find his break. He unsuccessfully tried to land a couple of attacks, but Rod Tang's famous defense proved too much. Fourth round went slightly better for the baby shark. One of the highlights of this round was one of his beautiful drops. As Rod Tong tried to land a kick, Petch Dam got hold of his opponent's legs and shoved him to the ground. The shark punished Rod Tong further by dashing out some powerful attacks. But Rod Tong isn't the one to take a beating lying down. He answered the blows with blows. Finally, the last round. Rod Tong looked more aggressive than ever. He lunged in and attacked Petch Dam with a combination of punches and kicks but soon he found himself in danger when Petch Dam got a hold of his leg. But luckily the fighter got out. After that, Rod Tong started his dominance, evading attacks with cat-like reflexes and landing powerful strikes whenever the opportunity came. Time's out. So folk, who do you think won that fight? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. But for the judges, it was an easy decision. Rod Tong came out on top, winning all three of his fights against the Baby Shark. In the kickboxing fight against Khalilov, Rod Tong showed just how scary and powerful he is. 
He managed to corner the opponent from the get-go, and for every strike, he dashed out two or three more. The next two rounds were the same. Kudos to Khalilov for the effort, but in front of Rod Tong's mastery of the sport, he simply fell short. After pretty much dominating the fight, Iron Man secured yet another victory. With beast-like aggression from both sides, the Muay Thai bout was nothing short of an all-out war. With takedowns and brutal jabs, the fight was as electrifying as it possibly could. But Rod Tong was at his absolute best, beating Jacob Smith like a piñata, opening his face up, coloring the canvas with red. What a mess. The Iron Man wins the three-round fight with ease. The bout proves once and for all why Rod Tang is the ultimate juggernaut of Muay Thai. This incredible fighter further cemented his legacy with a title bout against Edgar Tabares. Tabares started the fight boldly, landing solid jabs and kicks, but Rod Tang remained calm and cautiously looked for any opening. And then boom, Rod Tong finally knocked Edgar Tabares with a stunning elbow to the head. Just look at this beauty. But Rod Tang's majesty can barely be understood only by looking at his victories. The way he keeps on fighting, even in the face of defeat, speaks volumes of his character. So to truly understand the fighter, we need to see his legendary fight with the mighty Kaona. In the first round, Kaona came in strong, even slamming Rod Tong straight to the canvas in the very beginning. Both fighters looked cautious in the second round, eager to avoid mistakes at all costs. But as time went on, the fight became more electrifying with both fighters dashing out power attacks. In the third round, we got a glimpse of a much more aggressive Rod Tong, but then suddenly Kiona dropped Rod Tong to the floor once again. After getting up, Rod Tong started hitting his opponent with full force. Finally, nearing the end of round three, Rod Tong returned the favor and slammed Kiona to the canvas. But in round four, things took a wild turn once again. Kiona performed an early knockdown and severely punished Rod Tong with some mighty knees to the body. But with unending determination, Rod Tong held on and even dashed out some beautiful jabs. But with shots and knockdowns like these, the round was truly dominated by the underdog, Kayona. With only one round left, the crowd went absolutely crazy. In the fifth round, Kayona was even more dominating, dashing out kicks and dropping Rod Tong to the ground multiple times. The underdog proved too good in that fight, the damage had already been done. It was over for Rod Tung, but demonstrating his true fighting spirit, the Iron Man of Muay Thai fought bravely till the very end. So even though he lost, he not only won our respect, but also the respect and admiration of his opponent. Well, folks, it's inevitable to stumble onto defeats from time to time, but with his awe-inspiring skills, Rod Tong does not stay down for long. He has proven his worth in bout after bout and showed the world that there's no one more deserving of the ultimate juggernaut title. Fight fans, just as Muay Thai has its god, the world of MMA is buzzing with the whispers of a legend in the making. With an unending thirst and beast-like aggression, the undefeated fighter is a wolf trapped in a man's body. Click this video to witness the rise of the scariest fighter in the UFC.